Hello everybody, Gary Massa with Massa & Associates at Pacific Sotheby's International Realty. And I'm here with my main man, Dan Swint with More Financial. This is a, this is a special day, Dan. I mean, we've known each other for, geez, almost 30 years, uh, 30 years now. And now yeah. we're both working in the same space. We were in Northern California, but now both living down here in Southern California. So yes, great to great kind of be able to have the opportunity to work with you on some of these investor, you know, levels in, here in, in real estate. And so Dan works for More Financial. They're a hard money specialist, uh, essentially. And I asked Dan today to, to meet with me and talk with, uh, with me and all of our viewers about what is hard money, you know, bust some some uh, some myths and and so. Anyways, Dan, let's get right into it. Let's go. All right. So thanks again for joining us again. Thanks for having me. Um, tell us a little bit about what hard money is and what are the top myths that we can bust today about hard money. All right. So hard money is simply private capital. Uh, it's individuals that what we would call passive investors who have money that want to invest. More financial is the conduit to active investors. In other words, people that are looking to invest in properties, fix and flip, buy and hold, cash out refis. So unlike a conventional lender, private money simply means that we control the money uh, and the private investors are the ones that have the say as to where their money goes directly. Right. Some of the biggest myths or one of the biggest myths is that private money is this big scary monster. Right. Right. And that uh, all private money lenders are out there to do what's called loan to own. Uh, when in fact private money has become very competitive and what that means for the investor is that they have now have access to money that they may not have had before and it allows them to get into real estate opportunities that a conventional loan would not offer. Right, right. Well, I mean, again, so this is a totally different process, a totally different type of lending. Tell me about what the process is and the type of properties that this would be beneficial for. So the key thing you said there is property, right? Right. Um, the, first, the first step for an investor, what we call the active investor, is to find a property that they're interested in. Let's use the fix and flip model. They're interested in buying a property, fixing it up, and selling it for a profit. So the first thing they need is that property. They need to know, obviously know what they can purchase it for. Obviously, everybody's looking for the pocket deal, the pocket listing, the sweetheart, right? And if they can find the right deal, we need to know the purchase price. The second step is to understand what's called after repair value, ARV. What will the property be worth after the investor has come in and fixed the property to market it comparably to other properties in the area? Along with that comes a rehab cost, Obviously, it costs money to fix properties. Some investors come in, active investors or flippers come in with that. Some people ask us to loan that, and it entirely depends on the property. But the bottom line is they need that budget, and most importantly, they need a plan. They need to know what they're doing, and they need to have an exit strategy. Our terms, our loans, are only 12 months generally. So they're using our cash to get into properties that they can't and to turn them around quickly. And either sell them, cash out refinance if they want to hold, etc. Correct. Okay. So tell me a little bit about who this product or, or what this, you know, the, the hard money loan, who that would be for. Anybody. Anybody that's interested in real estate. I've worked with people. In fact, I was speaking with a, a woman yesterday, brand new. He's actually a photographer. He's got some cash and he wants to get into properties. What we specialize in is helping new investors uh, walk through the process. We can analyze the deal and be more of a coach and a partner than simply a lender. You go to a bank, you show them the property, they say yes or no. I'm actually asking this gentleman, Pablo, to send me various properties so I can walk him through each and show him the pitfalls. So it's for the new investors. It's for the seasoned investors. Uh, there are people that have worked with our firm. Our firm's been around for 10 plus years now. Uh, they've worked with more and they've done five, six, 10, 12, 15 properties a year and they continuously come back to us because of our reputation and because of the partnership we have. So it's for anybody that's interested in getting into, into real estate and investing. Well, it sounds like it's more common sense, you know, common sense investing or common sense uh, lending, right? So I think you mentioned earlier, it's not necessarily about the person, it's more about the property, right? But what does the person need to bring to the table to be able to qualify for one of these loans or to be able to, to get that started with you guys? Again, the first step is the real estate. They need to have an eye for real estate or at least some general idea of what their goal is. We're not going to, uh, to your point, we're not going to, like a bank would look uh, at the individual investor. We do pull credit, we do a background check, we need to know who we're lending to. But in the end, it's the property. There's 50 different boxes you have to check for a bank, including a letter from your mother saying that you're a really good person and you better bring chocolate chip cookies. That's right. Right, and, and look, I wanna also 
say that conventional lenders are not, uh, are, we're not competing with conventional lenders. They are our partners. Our investors use both. But the bottom line, this is for someone who may not be able to get into a property because they just can't meet the very rigorous standards that have been put forth by the government for the banks to follow. And again, I mean, this typically provides an angle of leverage for the investor because it's typically a fast close, right? Like a seven, 10 days, something like that. Uh, CAT, which is typically cash on hand. So you're not having to worry about, you know, is the lender going to say yes or no 21 days down the line, like right. a conventional loan. So could add it, you know, an element of, uh, of leverage over, you know, in a competitive market. I'll give you an example. Uh, I took in two, I took in two opportunities with the same investor on Monday. We're closing next week. So just before the probably close Wednesday. So that's a six day close. Well, on that point, give me a success story. Give me something that like, you know, some of our viewers can understand, like here's how this works and here's why it's beneficial. Okay, so Vallejo, California. Uh, you and I both know it well. We know it well. From Sonoma, exactly. Uh, these individuals have been buying single family residences and duplexes, but they wanted to move into a larger multi-unit property. They're moving up to a four. They have two properties in Vallejo, two duplexes. Uh, still owed money on them, but had some equity. They're doing cash out refis with us. The bank will not do any kind of loan for them because of their personal debt to income, because they have so many properties. We're using two properties in Vallejo and they're buying a, a, a multi-unit in Fairfield. Okay. So that's an example of them being absolutely barred by the banks, not because they want to, but because they have to, and coming to us and saying, can you help us? We looked at the properties, we ran our comps, we did our appraisals, very simple appraisal, literally took 10, 20 minutes, more of a walkthrough than anything, um, and we'll be, we'll be funding that uh, probably in a week and a half. And now they're consolidating two into one, right? Correct, and, maybe and they can, holding uh, all three. And then maybe they can qualify for, for conventional financing afterwards. That, well, that's the point, right? Because this is a 12 month loan. So, you can extend, but most investors don't want to because those the interest rates can run high, according to most people. Interest rates are nine to twelve percent. People immediately stand back and go, "That's that's crazy." But keep in mind, there's no prepayment penalty, and these investors are paying interest only, and they're only planning to keep our loan for those twelve months. They have an exit strategy, either to sell the property or to go to a conventional loan. They've seasoned ours and now they're able to get a conventional loan. Right. Well, I mean, you mentioned interest rate in some terms, but like what's the general loan product look like to most of your customers? The general loan product, interest rate nine to 12. Um, of course, there's closing costs that are involved. Right. Um, and it's a 12 month term. I mean, it's very, very simple. It doesn't have to be difficult. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every situation's uh, different and individual, right? So it's obviously common sense lending. If you guys have any questions about uh, about hard money lending, about investing in real estate and using other people's money, what'd you call it, OPM? OPM. Common, common term. Uh, <laughs> give us a call, give Dan a call, myself a call. You know, you can uh, just, there's a way to get into the investor space and you don't have to have all the money in the world to be able to, uh, to make that first jump or your second or your third. It's a very, very common opportunity that people are using all the time. Leverage works. That's right. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching. Thanks again, Dan, for being here. Thank you. All right, we'll see you soon.